white trash and blue collar But I could change all that if I had a couple million dollars What is up everybody? It's your boy Matt. Um, doing a bit of a different kind of video today. You're going to see first person of uh, my route I'm going to be taking. And um, one of the things I want to talk about, um, sorry, I've got ni a case of knives in the front seat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause you guys right here because my battery's about dead. So I will see you guys here in a second. Right. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, new battery, new day, new rainy day. So, I'm heading over to my grandmother's house today to uh, place the propane tank on her, on, eh, on her uh, grill. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name, damn it. Um, um, so, we, on Saturday, my dad and I went through all of my grandfather's uh, my late grandfather's guns total of 107 of them um, about a hundred rifles and about no not a, not a hundred rifles um about 70 rifles and about however many because there's a whole 107 I can't do the really do the math off the top of my head right now but you know some of those guns it, it like I was really really impressed being the gun nut I am at the history on most of those guns that I saw or got to hold um, mainly Lee Enfield's uh, uh, the German KR9AKs, sorry about the bumps. Um, uh, a couple Mosin Nagants, a captured Mosin Nagant from the, I believe, the Korean War. Not 100% sure. Um, and those were just the guns outside of cases and pistols and stuff. We haven't even gone through the uh, all the uh, guns in hunt in gun cases or in the in the hard case gun cases. And there's about twenty or thirty of those, and some of them have one to three guns in each case. Yeah, so that's going to be rather interesting to. Uh, rather interesting to uh, see um, like I um, showed you in the last video two of those guns or no there's three of those guns that are mine there's a M M1 Grand there's a Mini 14 and an AR-15 and I put those pictures up on last week and Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, God, this guy's truck in front of me is nasty. Oh, it's a work truck. But anyways, um, I don't know how many videos I'll be able to crank out this, uh, this week. Because I haven't been really busy. I've been kind of sick. Um, you can tell in this video that I am doing better. I am doing better. That's a that's that's a good thing for me. Um, my mom still has the flu. Dad's getting better. Quentin's getting better. Dad no longer has the flu. So yeah. Um, I will hopefully have either a uh, channel trailer or something along those lines in the next month or so. Um. But I will be filming a new intro because I, I as much as I liked the new, the my old the intro I have now, um, I I want to try a different intro, you know, something more the, along the lines of me, something I didn't just make on a whim, you know. Um, yeah. 
so I'm getting pretty close to the, the to a turnoff point where I really don't want anybody to know where I'm going. So I will cut the video here in a second, and I will see you guys here in about. All right, so this is probably the last video, or not this one, but maybe the next one that you're gonna see uh, with the old intro. I'm gonna try to make the new intro look cool. Um, try to make it look country like me. Um, I really don't know how it's gonna work out. Uh, shoot. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be a little interesting. Um, This Sienna's in my way. We're doing 50 and a 70. Really? And I have to be in this lane. Jesus. Good lord, people. But yes, um. buddy Andrew MX214's newest video um, he usually pumps cranks out a video about I say every Sunday I try to stay on top of the game because I got nothing to do uh, and uh, try to make you guys some content to watch. I know my content isn't really that great per se, but um, well, I'm just gonna have to, I, I'm just doing the best I can with what I got. Cause all I've got is a GoPro and my cell phone. I don't have all that fancy editing software. I do the best I can with what I have. Um, this is a terrible on-ramp. Um, I mean, like I said, um, I, I do the best with what I have. So, and to me, in this sense of the, in this type of form is really not the best I can do because I know I can do better, but... I don't have the money to be spending to be able to get all that fancy equipment and all that other stuff, but I'm definitely going to continue keep using my GoPro because my GoPro is probably the best camera I have so far right now. I do have a very, very, very old, old, I'm talking like old for you new kids nowadays. Older than you for like kids, like hell, it's even older than I am. But I grew up around this stuff. It's an old VHS video camera. Basically, what it is is you, it's an old giant video camera, almost about the same size as the ones you see the news people carrying. And you put a blank VHS tape in there and it records over the VHS tape. So when you're done, you can basically just uh, uh, take the VHS tape out, throw it in the v VCR, um, and watch your home homemade video. Yeah, I, I believe I, I I like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to me. I'm, I'm into all the old stuff, but yeah. Um, Like I said, oh wow, there's a cop way, way up there with the going code three. Wow. I know, probably he's just running code. I'm sorry. Oh, and there's a cop way down there to the right if you can see him on the side of the on the side of the highway. Now he's code three. Ouch. Nope, he's just code. Damn it. Up with all these cops running code today. Everybody. 
everybody's messing up.